these get some energy in this room. I'm gonna play one more song, and I'm gonna bring out Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and Chris motherfucking Dillon out on stage to join me. Give it up for Joel Berg and Chris Dillon. This is Red Band coming to you live from the world famous comedy store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Here's Tony. It's me. Hello. Hi, everybody. Come on, make some noise. This fucking place. Comedians, hello. And good evening and welcome. I'm excited to be here with you at the number one live podcast in the world. Uh, some unfortunate news, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to let you know right up off the top. Uh, the great Ron White was scheduled to be here tonight 
and unfortunately, his plane malfunctioned in Austin, Texas at 5 o'clock this evening. I got a text a little after 5 saying, not going to be able to make it. My plane is broken. So... Uh, His own personal plane, I think, also. <laughs> However, so. he will be here next week, and anybody who came to this show tonight, even though I know, I'm sure a lot of you are visiting from around the world, but whoever came here tonight automatically gets in uh, next week on top of all the other people that are going to be here for oh, Ron yes. White, live from the Comedy Store next week. Save yourself five bucks by bringing your receipt from tonight or whatever the fuck. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to Australia, Brian. I'm going back I to Australia for the third year in a row. I'm going to be spending Thanksgiving in Australia. And you know when that is. That's November 22nd in Melbourne, uh, the 23rd in Sydney, the 24th in Sydney, the 25th in Sydney, the 26th in Brisbane, and the 28th in Adelaide. So for those of you listening, oh, I can hear one of their jungle birds. Ah, oh, the old Australian jungle bird. Oh, look out. Whoa, okay, okay. I don't think they have elephants, Brian. Um, so I'm excited about that. La Jolla and uh, some other fun things coming up all at TonyHinchcliffe.com. I'm excited about that. And I'm excited about tonight's episode. Oh, the great Ryan J.E. Belt's here, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Back from his trip to Texas. We went a whole week without him. Not easy to do. We were jonesing for our Ryan J.E. Belt. He's going to draw tonight's episode. Whatever he sees go down up here. While you all sit there like a bunch of lazy asses, you're going to see by the end of the show, he drew a drawing of tonight's episode. It's going to blow your fucking mind. All of his prints of every show, including the official Kill Tony poster, are available at RyanJEBelt.com. You know what else I love? Speedweed. Speedweed delivers weed to your fucking house. <laughs> what? Yep. Yeah. So that's a good thing. We're on Speedweed tonight. All right, so um, in, place of, uh, in place of the great Ron White, I decided to do something uh, sort of super creative. I decided to have one uh, young man make his uh, debut on this panel. How many of you out there are real Kill Tony fans? You've listened to the show before. Some newbies up on the second level. I get it. Well, uh, one of the cast members of this show who's never actually sat in on the show, we've had Jeremiah and Pat as guest panelists one night uh, while this man played his instrument. This guy joined the show a year and a half ago. He blew our minds every single night, killing it. And our other friend, the star of Jackass, put your hands together for tonight's guest. It's Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, and Wee Man. <laughs> Look at this. Dreams really do come true. You can hear the Joelberg chants. Listen to that, Brian. I'm a Joelberg fan. Do you hear that? Listen to this fucking war zone, Joelberg. The fucking dream has come true. The little boy that worked at a skate park for how long? Uh, nine years. He worked at a skate park for nine years. Yeah, nine years. A year and a half ago, he joined the cast to kill Tony as the drummer. And now, speaking of skate parks, now your first time on the show guesting is with this motherfucker. My man. Dude, and we were just talking in the back. He's like, you still go to the Culver City Park? <laughs> and I'm like, well, you ever been there? And he's like, dude, we used to go all the time. <laughs> wow. And I'm like, oh, no, I haven't been there lately. You fucking skateboard guys. Yep. Well, I'm excited about this. Uh, welcome back, Wee Man. Always fun. Thank you. Thank you gave me much. one of the best fucking pairs of underwear. What was that underwear? Skivvies. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. They were amazing. Oh, I, I love have giving some dudes in my trunk underwear. for you. Where's my underwear? Some, some bigger. <laughs> it's been in my trunk every fucking Monday for like three I weeks. I left it there. I don't. You think you think I want a? You think I want two packs of XL <laughs> underwear in my trunk for no reason? It's good squeegee. You, every time I open my trunk, I'm like, why the fuck haven't I given that to him yet? I also have a uh, fun fact. This is what happens on Mondays. We have so much fun after the show. I also have your uh, what's his name? The country music star. Oh yeah, we uh, switch Wheel Walker Garth Jr. Brooks. Wheeler Walker Jr. I've had a vinyl album with your. If it's in your made out made out to red band. If it's in your car, it's melted. It's all. It's been <laughs> three months in the heat. Three months. I'm sure yeah, if you good. if you ever wanted to listen to it, it's gonna be fucked up. Um, and we're also gonna do something special with the band tonight, guys. You must be wondering who's gonna fill in for Joelberg. <clears throat> In a very, very exciting revelation, we have a, a super band here tonight. Not only do we have the Kill Tony band, but we have the Kill Tony band plus plus. 
Put your hands together for them. It's the greatest fucking band in the land, the greatest band in all of comedy. It's the Kill Tony Band. Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, Tall Wilkenfeld, and Chris, the bass player, on drums. Yes, that's Tall Wilkenfeld, ladies and gentlemen. Bass player for The Who, Jeff Beck. Real musician. Oh, jeez. And also, it appears as though we have cats. Yeah, damn cats. Oh, my God. Tall is also a cat. And Jeremiah is a cat. I cannot believe you guys are going to be fucking cats tonight. If you don't know, every week the band comes out as different characters, and they try to commit to those characters and uh, make jokes out of those characters as the show goes on. They are just wild black cats. They are really crazy about yarn. I've never even seen, obviously they've never seen how a cat actually plays before, <laughs> ever. These are two non-cat owners doing their weirdest panicky cat impression. Like a cat has to unravel the ball of yarn to put some kind of fire out or something Security, like that. Security, we have two black cats and <laughs> two black cats, please. Well, there they go. Put your hands together for the band, there they are. Is that where you're going to sit tall? You don't want to be up front with those guys? I think there's a third stool up there for you. Tall Wilkenfeld, ladies and gentlemen, doing her West Coast California tour. Some really awesome venues the whole month of November. She's at the Troubadour here in Hollywood, November 30th, Solana Beach, Sacramento, Mill Valley, Santa Barbara, Hermosa. Amazing tour. Put your hands together for Tall Wilkenfeld, ladies and gentlemen. Pat and Jeremiah, you're a couple of fucking cats. How you feeling over there? I want to go in outside. <laughs> in outside. I am on my ninth life. What? I'm a stray cat. Oh my god, it's a crazy fucking cat. I've never let him inside before. I'm a house cat, if you haven't guessed, Tony. Oh, look at you. You're so prissy. And then you got that fucking in, in heat fucking dirty bitch of a cat next to you. I had a house once! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, hey, Tony, can yeah. I... I made a new I made a new drum kit for the show. Can I? Sh it's it's weird that the night I bring the new drum set, I'm not on the drum set. But wow, Joel has a, Joel brought a new bass drum. I see, it, and it by the looks of things, it looks like it is a, a trash bag. It's a trash bag bass kit. What the fuck? Whoa! Whoa. It's like Kill Tony Christmas. Cool. Wow, that's the real logo. Joel, you're so likable. We'll awesome see by the end. <laughs> Put your hands together for our new bass drum here, the Kill Tony Band. It's got a Let's death start the fucking show. Let's jump into it. Uh, you guys know how it works. I have a bucket full of names here. A bunch of comedians signed up for the chance. Sometimes it's a comedian. Sometimes it's a completely insane person who's never even seen the show before, and they just sign up for things. And but if I pull your name out of the bucket, you have to do 60 seconds of stage time uninterrupted. When that 60 seconds is up, <laughs> you'll hear the sound of a kitty. <laughs> we will be doing that all night. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Man, that's awesome. That, that means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Ooh, the cats are scared. Look at that. Look how concerned they are. Yes, they always tap their feet together with yarn when they get nervous like that. All the house cats I've seen, their back feet, that's what they do. <laughs> wow. I just I literally watched a big piece of black cotton go on your tongue right then. <laughs> you guys ready to start this motherfucking show or what? Here we are. This is it. It takes a while for all the pieces to get in place, but this shit's about to go down. I'm going to pull a name out of the bucket, and we're going to get 60 seconds of uninterrupted comedy, and then all of a sudden, the person becomes a guest on a live fucking podcast that not only is streaming out to the world right now, but it's also streaming live in virtual reality 360, if you look at that little black cylinder right in front of the microphone there. That means that people can see you from all around the world. So don't be stupid. Pay attention and enjoy yourselves. The first name I pulled out of the bucket tonight is Jer D. 
Here we go. Getting things kick-started with Jerdy. I feel like I've seen this name once before at least. Here he comes. Oh, what's going on tonight, you guys? You guys having fun or what? Awesome, awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm a father. I have a 12-year-old daughter. And a little bit before Christmas, a few days before Christmas, she, uh, she, she dropped this last-minute gift on me. It was like three or four days before Christmas. I already done all my shopping, so I, so I couldn't deliver. But uh, she's got a birthday coming up here pretty soon, so I'm going to get her the gift. Uh, she asked me for an electric guitar, and I got a few reasons why, too. Uh, first reason being is musical talent runs very deeply in our family. It does. Second reason being is I'm an artist for a living. I would love for her to express herself <coughs> in some way artistically. Uh, third reason being is I fucking hate her mother, all right? <laughs> um, my, uh, my, my mother, uh, my mother's, uh, she's a real crazy lady. Um, she's a really judgmental person, but uh, I should clarify she hasn't always been that way. Like uh, a few years ago, though, she's, she uh, started working at, at a prison. Ever since she started working at a prison. <laughs> Which fucking cat was that? I'm going to kill it. All right. You guys have been fun. Jerdy, there you go. <laughs> Jerdy, so um, why do you look like you just got divorced? Like immediately, like today, you got served papers. No, 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 it's been almost 10 years now, man. If they ever made, the a, if they ever made a reality show version of Cheers, you would be in it. <laughs> I guarantee you that. Is that the Cheers theme? <laughs> uh, Jerdy. Is Jer your real first name? Uh, it's a Jer, no, no it's not. What's it short for? Jer? Uh, we we man wants to know what that's short for. Yeah, I need it to it actually. Uh, <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> it's short for jury duty because he looks like every person on jury duty. <laughs> wow! Look at the house cat, off and running. Good no, lord. No, uh, actually, it's uh, it's short for. Uh, why don't you be a real animal like a fucking dog or something? All right. Whoa! Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Jerdy, Jerdy, because, Jerdy. because I already see a bitch in front of me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't know when people will learn on this show you do not fuck with Jeremiah Watkins. Everybody always thinks he's weak because of like his haircut or something. It's very feathered. You yeah. don't fuck with this guy. Everybody that's ever leaned in on him gets fucking housed immediately. <laughs> Well, uh, it's actually uh, <laughs> short for Jeremiah. Is it really? Uh, Whoa! Yeah, look at that. There's only one Jeremiah in this show. <laughs> yeah. Stick right. with JRD. It looks I'm, wide I'm for Jeremiah. <laughs> <laughs> how long? How long have you gone by Jer? Is that just a stage name for you? Uh, no, it started uh, back in high school when I when I my first year of playing uh, football. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like every like I'd do something stupid. You still have pig skin, so it's incredible. <laughs> All right, forget I'd, it. I do something stupid, and everybody be like, "Oh, Jer, <laughs> you and dropped the ball." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jer, why do you look like you do? <laughs> like, what do you think? What is the combination of uh, what you do I, and I, don't do to make your, your your shape? Like, what happened there? Is that like? I don't know. Like, I used to like back. You're built like Homer Simpson, and he's a cartoon. Yeah. I've never oh seen it like the Homer build in real life. Like the, the <laughs> you have the hips and the belly and but like know, very, like very, very small shoulders. <laughs> like the smallest shoulders out of anyone on this stage. And I'm sitting next to Wee Man right now. <laughs> I, I'm actually pretty proud I know. Of I'm you. saying you do. You literally, if we put them side by side, I guarantee you. <laughs> no. Like Wait. Will you guys? Will you? Will you? Will you go up next to him for a second? Can I see this side by side? Dude. Chair. Yeah. I mean. Chair. Get okay. down for a second. Kneel down for a second, Cher. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Thank you. That's what I call master hosting right there. You're damn right I was right. Wee Man has bigger <laughs> shoulders than you, Jerry. <laughs> what do you weigh? Uh, oh, uh, 
Uh, just probably like right under 300 right now. I'm gonna get back to my original question. W what do you? What's what's your diet like? I'm curious. Cheese. Uh, yeah, it's it's a just lot. Just the shit Green right Bay hat. Sorry. Is it's it? Lot, like I, Arby's. I, I, it's uh. It's a, it's a lot of steak, a lot of cooking like steak, but like I marinate it in butter and shit. Like Ooh, just, the old uh, butter marinade. So good. <laughs> I butter and marinate <laughs> steak all the time. Uh. <laughs> you ever eat, <laughs> you ever eat trash and find a baby? <laughs> <laughs> That's my pussy patty rig right there. <laughs> uh, a lot of ice cream, shit like. You Do know, you really? Shit. How much ice cream do you eat? Wow, you just shook your head like you're a fucking heroin addict. Like you're truly disappointed. I gotta. I have a question. What's up? Because I have major food issues. I think I'm addicted to food. Mm. How? What? What? Like, where did you look like me like years ago? I used to be. I used to be ripped as ripped as shit. Ah, fuck, as man. Shit, dude. Chair, how much I playing uh, football? How much? Stop playing football. How much ice yeah, cream? Yeah, like I stopped being active. Like, like how I much ice sport. cream are we talking about here? Too much. Is ice it cream true that you ate so much of their ice cream they were thinking of changing their name to Ben and Jer? They might have. <laughs> if they were smart, they would. If they were smart, they would. Baskin Robbins only has ten flavors when he's done. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that dirty outdoor cat over there. It's a fucking <laughs> evil beast. Uh, all right, Jer. Wait, what do you do for work, Jer? Good question. Uh, well, we addressed this uh, a few weeks ago. Actually, I did just start a new, a new job, but uh, what would you tell us a few weeks ago? Uh, uh, I like I live and I'm kept by my uh, my rich girlfriend. Oh, you do have a rich girlfriend. Oh. What does she do again? She's uh, she's an environmental engineer. Wow. And she found you asleep yeah. leaning next to a tree. <laughs> <laughs> She's <Rich> like, <laughs> <girl>. <laughs> so good. Um, wow. So what's your new job? Uh, you know, it's uh, it's uh, it's really weird. Uh, I just work from home. <laughs> and by the way, of all <laughs> the marinade stuff in did butter. Did she kick you out? No, no, she didn't kick I, but I'm like looking to leave her because I'm fucking miserable. Really? Oh, I'm oh, yeah. telling you, just by the way you're built, the last thing you need right now is a sugar mama. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, really good, one. really good. That's just really is just really good. <laughs> anyway, so what's your plan? What's the job? Uh, you know, uh, I work for this company. They uh, they ship me stuff, and all I do is I gift wrap it, then I ship it back out. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> That's you it. with gift wrap and scissors and You're an elf? <laughs> <laughs> How are you an elf? It's, <laughs> it's yet another thing that it seems like Wee Man would have over you, but... Uh, How'd you get that job? <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking gift wrapper. Man. So, like, are they already in a brown box, or... Well, yeah, like like they just ship it to you. It comes in a brown box. You take it out. You wrap it. You stick it back in the box, and then you just print off a label. Is anybody else it. watching Jeremiah try to take a sip of his water right now? Like I the cat. It's really away. not easy when it's a bottle. I don't think. Good kitty. Have you ever got any strange gifts from Amazon to wrap up? Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. It's uh, it's it's been a lot of Apple products. I wrapped uh, I wrapped an iPhone 8 today. Well, an Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Unless you're built like you, <laughs> um, then it doesn't. So. Fucking pear shaped and shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. <laughs> um, what's a talent that you have, or a special skill, or something like that? Anything? Yo-yo uh, champion, or? Uh. I mean, aside from back when I was in sports, uh, I can do some impressions. Really? Yeah. Ooh, who can you do impressions of? I always love uh, impressions. Go ahead. Uh, all right, let me change. Hmm. Force is strong with this one, it is. Wait, this is okay. <laughs> Bad person. That impression sucked it did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things that ever happens on this show is when somebody says that they can do impressions and then I tap them of their impressions and we tend to... One of my, you, you <laughs> one of my favorite things to do is to have impressions off with Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah, you want to play? I mean, that first one, I'm pretty sure... All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got Yoda, right? I mean, that's easy. Jer. Who else do you have in your repertoire? Uh, I used to be able to do Lilo or Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. 
Why wh is your specialty impressions that people don't know? <laughs> this way, people go. That's probably spot on. Can we hear it? I would rather you do the little Hawaiian girl Lilo than Stitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your Stitch? I don't even know what that sounds like. Go ahead. Mmm. <laughs> The force is strong. <laughs> what? Hey, Lilo, come here. Ooh, anybody can do this. <laughs> Tony. They can. Tony, why do all of his impressions sound hungry? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Julia Child, that's why. Mm. Me want cookies. <laughs> Days it's been. Butter marinated, perhaps. Butterstate. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jer, go ahead with your stitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Hannah, nuns, family. Family, nuns. Oh, God. It's, that's just that one voice, <laughs> right, Jeremiah? You agree with that? Mahalo, Mons Family. I mean, we don't even, we've all been doing comedy together for a decade. I, I mean, I, I, well, none of us do impressions. None of us say we can do impressions. But what's your next impression? We're about, is this, you know if Stitch is in the number two spot, we're in big trouble, people. <laughs> big fucking trouble. Well, did you ever see episode 134 of Full House? Uh, there was a character that walked through for a moment, and he was Dave. all like, mm. Where's the butter uh, stick? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jer, what's number three? All right. Oh, I got one. Oh, go ahead. The outdoor cat. Do an impression of an Asian fish market at 4.35 a.m. <laughs> it's like Twitch from South Park. I just figured that out. All right, Jer, what's impression number three on your, uh, if this was your SNL showcase, we already got <laughs> Stitch out of the way, uh, what would number three be? Your mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Your third impression is one. of the guy that sang the songs for the Grinch? <laughs> what? Number three? That guy? That's your go-to? That voice? That's yeah. it? I couldn't even, have, it, it, I used my wildest comedy writing imagination for like 30 minutes. I don't think I would have been who able to come up guy? with something quite that. No, do you know who that is? I have no clue. You just know, wow. Like I just heard it. Okay. Of times, yeah. Jer Jeremiah, what do you think about uh, the guy from uh, that can sing? You're a mean one. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, Mr. he's Mr. not Grinch. even trying at all. Tony, Ryan J. Ebel knows who that was. Ryan, who was that? Was ah. it Boris Karloff? There oh, you go. You know what? That's a good point. I should use Ryan Jay as a human encyclopedia more yeah. often. <laughs> I didn't really realize yeah. how easily... Yeah. Ex I mean, he's a gene... We always have amazing talks before the show in which I realize that he is, but I never really utilize it. He like not that. only draws, he reads. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's it. Let's go to our fact checker, a.k.a. the only one that reads on the show, Ryan Jay. <laughs> um... Okay, now I da do I dare to ask if you have a fourth impression? I know I'm spending way too much time with you, Jer, but this is amazing to me. I just <laughs> love it when people think they can do impressions. Do you have any female, female voices? Yeah. You're a mean, mean one, one, Mr. Mr. Grinch! <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, do you have any more impressions, Jer? Uh, Come thing. on, I know you got one more you want to try. Come on, tell the truth. Stink Don't be eyes. shy, dude. This is it. You're in VR 360, and that's just your weight. <laughs> well, I, no, like, I, I think I can do Sean Connery, but I actually can't, you know? Oh, no, no, you can, <laughs> and I want to hear it right now on this show. You're in overtime, dude. We can't bullshit anymore. I know you can do this, Sean Connery. I cannot wait to hear it. Mmm, Bond! I've got you this time. Ooh. He is James Bond. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. 
All right, go ahead, Chair. <laughs> hmm. Bonja Steel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Why are bad impressions my favorite thing in the world? They're the best. <laughs> Alright, Jerry, you're fucking awesome, dude. I love your spirit. There he goes, Jerry D. Listen to how lovely our band is. Tall Wilkenfeld, Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, and Chroma Chris. Some advice also for you. Uh, hold your microphone close to your mouth. Like you're really quiet. I got the best advice. Don't quit the elf job. <laughs> yeah, chair, hold the mic close to your mouth. For a guy that eats ice cream cones every night, you should know how to put one of these things up to your mouth. You guys having fun? You get the show? That's how it works. I go back to the bucket now and I pull another name out. Anything can happen now. It's fucking crazy. I know. We do it every Monday. That's why we're the number one live podcast in the world. Yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. I know this guy. I've known him for quite a few years. It's been a long time since he's been on this show. Put your hands together for Wub Savell. Getting tired of people assuming I have a monster cock. <laughs> I don't know who starts these rumors. I have a very average dick. Like, if my dick was in a movie, it would be played by Tom Hanks's dick. I just got out of a relationship recently. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing to do with the dick thing. Unrelated. <laughs> Very irresponsible uh, relationship. Like, we had a lot of unprotected sex. No condoms, no birth control. Never had a pregnancy scare. But she did swallow so much of my cum, she won't shit an entire baby. <laughs> Thanks. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking I love that last joke. Thanks, sounds man. like sounds like it, it you know feels like you know sort of feels like I don't know. I can't believe I've <laughs> never really thought of that before. <laughs> Swallowed so much cum that uh, she shit out a baby. <laughs> never really thought of it that way. You have like a brilliant mind of like a, a giant four year old or something like Thank that. <laughs> <laughs> Wub, remind Thank me, you. what Thank do you, you do for a living again? Sell insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of different shit, not like one thing. Um, I do some copy editing freelance. Sometimes I work for my brother a little bit. Uh, host bar trivia. You remind me of everybody from Forensic Files. <laughs> The, <laughs> the criminologist. I thought you were going to say suspects. friends. <laughs> like Phoebe. <laughs> no, bad kitty. There's no there's nobody that looks like that on Friends. It was supposed to be like a likable, like, uh, you know, like a... Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> How long you been on stand-up? Uh, I don't know, a few years, you know. Mm. No, I don't know. No, <laughs> I was asking you. Um, probably like five years. Five years. Yeah. Have you ever pooped in a box before? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. What well, I have been to China. What is the weirdest place you've ever pooped? My it parents. Definitely in China. <laughs> was it? What yeah. was that like? Um, like the squat toilet deal mm -hmm. where you're just shitting in a hole. How did that make you feel? Terrified I was going to ruin my suit. <laughs> you were wearing a suit? <laughs> what were you wearing yeah. a suit in China for? Um, I was like, I went on this, uh, this trip where it was a deal like if I pretended to be interested in investing in China, <laughs> that I would get like this kind of free trip. So if you were going to invest so that. <laughs> in China, why would people think you would invest in China? Because uh, I look like this. <laughs> they just go up to people that look like you and they're like, hey, you want to go to China? Want to invest in China? Well, this was like set up like with this trip. I uh, 
I used to do a bunch of kung fu, right? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a second. Wait, 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 what wait, wait, just wait, happened? Yeah. Also, what is how was that a thing that you just said, and how did you have that sound effect so quickly <laughs> ready? He said he was still saying foo when you hit the gong. What is a bunch of kung fu? Yeah. yeah. Never is that, a bunch I thought they came in bundles. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, That's on their back. Can you Sorry. show us? Yeah, you Some absolutely have to. Mm, well, I don't really do it like anymore. I'll do, I do like Tai Chi now. I think stuff. that you tai can show, show us a little something. I don't care. Yeah. Do I, th something. I think I've always wanted to see the funeral director bust out some <laughs> kung fu. You know what I mean? <laughs> Will you fight me? Um. I have cat-like reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you just show us a few little fucking somethings? The crowd's going right. to go crazy if you do it. You just got to trust me. Do it, Wub. Do it. You're so shy. <laughs> Fucking That's awesome. Dude. For those of you just listening to the podcast, Wub just sucked up all the energy in the room and then stomped on the stage. <laughs> It was like some kind of video game uh -huh. finishing move or something <laughs> like that. Like I, I, I almost saw an energy ball in front of you for a second. <laughs> that was some powerful shit, dude. I think he just watched all the Karate Kid movies <laughs> and just did whatever Mr. Miyagi would do uh, off to the side. You know, when daniel son would look over and Miyagi was doing all the moves. I never Those would have guessed <laughs> that you know any of the karate. I would guess like the painting the fence. I could picture that part, yeah, but yeah, the karate yeah. part really surprised the me. The kidnapping the child. <laughs> this is I didn't know karate had an accounting department. <laughs> <laughs> I do kung fu tech. <laughs> well, have you ever had to use it uh, in uh, out on the streets? You ever had to do some street fighting? No, no. I mean, like, I... <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeremiah is cleaning the inside of his thigh right now. I can't quite believe he's that flexible. It's a real bundle of junk in there in those spandex, huh, Jeremiah? What's that? Oh, look at that little shy saxophone, huh? Uh, uh, he's not neutered. <laughs> Looks like you were horny before you put the sax next to it. Have you ever had to use your skills in a real life situation, Wub, or at least scare somebody? Have you ever had to do like the sweeping part with your arms and like they're like, oh <laughs> shit, get out of here? <laughs> Four cholos, they're like, no, nah, this feels crazy. <laughs> dude, he's fucking like waving off my energy. Back dude. up, Holmes. What the fuck, <laughs> hey. Dude, man, that shit was fucking creepy, dog. Oh, like, yeah, I, dog, I don't want to. Dude, that part shit this, like deeply me. affected me, bro. Okay. <laughs> It yeah, was like the gayest shit I've ever seen in my yeah, life, yeah, dog, but I was yeah, fucking scared, dude. Right. I thought he was going to turn into a ghost, bro. That's right, eh? That's right. <laughs> this fucking guy was moving his hands, dude. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bob, I feel like I've asked you about seven times now yeah. this question. No, just like in competition or, you know, like in the school box. Do you have like a shit. specialty move or anything that you do in those competitions or something that you've <laughs> known f you're known for, something like that? Ripping dirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ripping dirt, perhaps. He nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Any special <laughs> things that you have, like, a special knack for? <laughs> like mine, for example, <laughs> like back when I wrestled in high school, I had an incredible knack for being able to bridge powerfully because mm -hmm. I was always almost getting pinned continuously. <laughs> so I built this incredible ability to really just pop up a few times at least if the person was fucking crushing yeah. me in a match and I would just be up like on my head and I'd spin out of it. I'd have a few shots when I had energy to get out of it and it was like a big thing that I was sort of known for. Do you have any special things in your kung fu m class? For people who don't wrestle, a bridge is whenever you put your penis in another man's butt. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. I say I wrestled in high school. I say I wrestled in high school and Jeremiah takes a shot at me. We're all vulnerable. Go ahead, Wub. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, um, Wub. Well, I would just like, whenever I, we'd like box in, in the school or something like that, I would only get mad pretty much like if I actually got socked in the nose. Yeah. So I would just, it was hard for me to get motivated to, to box 
But if you did hit me in the nose, then I would like turn into the Hulk. <laughs> yeah, what would happen? Can you show us? You like wouldn't a like me when I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> like, what would happen? What did it feel like? What did it sound like? What did it look like? Um, I would just like rush him, you know. Just like rush what? Like, oh, like that? <laughs> no, just just start swinging on him, you know. The old crazy just white man rush. As when you say when you say swinging on him, that does that mean you didn't do any of like the the premeditative like spell part in which they just get dizzy before and then they're ready for the <laughs> knockout? <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> yes, that move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's what that thing would do. Like they'd be, and then in the end, they'd, they're like, "Oh my God, the stomp!" Like if you did the hand in the fist stomp thing, they just fall over after that. <laughs> it's like, oh no, it. fool! He's doing crouching tiger, hidden <laughs> faggot again. <laughs> Humiliation. Swap. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Have you been declawed? Good question. <laughs> Wub, have you been declawed? Yeah, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know how to answer that. <laughs> Intri- Intri- <laughs> yep. Oh. Okay. All right. Very good, Brian. I don't think we actually need the cat sound effect board for this one. All right. Very good. Wub, <laughs> what? You ever find yeah, a trail of blood on the ground and lick it up? All right, well, but what else is going on That's in life? That's my rescue, Patty Reagan, right there. <laughs> <laughs> anything else interesting going on in life? You, you have a girlfriend or anything like that? Uh, no, I was doing a show, though, a little while ago, and some dude did threaten to shoot me at it. Wow, how recent was that? Um, a couple months ago. Why I mean, did he threaten to shoot you? Well, actually, te- technically, what he said was, don't get shot now. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing in which he may have shot you? I don't know, just telling jokes, you know? I almost got stabbed I once. I mean, this was in Hawthorne. Mm. Yeah. It's a very stabby place. Where were you telling jokes in Hawthorne? This place called The Family Room. Oh. <laughs> Is that at your own house? <laughs> <laughs> the Family Room. Uh, was that Jer's place? <laughs> Jer's like, welcome no, to The but Family I do, Room. I live in Inglewood, so it's not that far from like, where I'm at. I perform there. They have great chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a family room. <laughs> they actually do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wub. Well, it was good to see you right, again. Thanks. Fun stuff. There he goes. Kung Fu master, Wub Savell. You never know, man. You got to be careful who you bully. Look at him. Seems like you could just walk right up to that guy and smack the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> but that motherfucker knows Kung Fu, and that would have like been a bad decision. sweet sound of Ichabod's Bucket of Destiny brings us yet another name. An uninterrupted 60 seconds now goes to Chris Wilmoth. Y'all don't want to hear me, you just want to dance. Is that movement? Is that Chris? Make way, people. There's a show going on. People right next to the door. Fuck yeah. Here he comes. The slow, smooth pace of Chris Wilmoth. Here he comes. Still coming on the stage. Okay. Chris Wilmoth, everyone. Come on. Yeah. What up? I'm here to, I'm here to talk about the autistics. <laughs> if you're offended by me calling them the autistics, then you're literally not autistic. So one time I, one time I said that, and the guy in the audience was like, my kid's autistic. And I was like, call him an autistic. <laughs> See if he's offended. <laughs> if he is, he's faking. I, I, I worked in an autistic classroom for a year, and I swear to God, some of those kids were faking. Like, not all of them. Like, some of them definitely weren't, but some of Like, all you have to do is not talk, and you get to go to Chuck E. Cheese once a week. <laughs> like... I remember being jealous of the autistic kids when I was in school. I just didn't have the balls to do it. I'm pretty sure there's a forward thinker out there with like the same mentality as me. Okay, Chris Wilmoth, there he goes. The, the, old, the old grin and lean. Hi, Chris, how are you? I'm good, how are You've you? You've been on this show before, right? Yeah, a couple times. Yeah, I can't quite remember. Give us your little backstory again. What did we find out about you? Um, last time I was here, I talked about living in a garage with another dude. 
two other dudes. <laughs> wow. It was a big hit. Do you still live? In, <laughs> do you still live in a garage with two? No, other dudes? no. Now I live in like a hostel situation with a magician and like <laughs> and some other people. Wow. Yeah. With a fucking magician. Yeah, dude. The hottest magician in LA, Matt Price. Look him up. <laughs> the hottest magician in LA. The hottest lives, magician. He's a, in a comedy magician with you. Yeah, yeah he lives in a hostel with me. It's like he. I mean, he makes his money on. The, I guess the he's pier. not the hottest magician in LA. I don't. If he's Is that because you guys don't have air conditioning? No, we have air conditioning. It's covered in the hostel price, actually. Hostel. Yeah. Living with a magician, <laughs> any weird shit? You just have like rabbits running around your room or something? No, he just keeps me up. Like he just like shows me tricks in the middle of the night and like shit oh, like that. Oh yeah. And, like, I'll just be like, yo, dude, the like, old, check the, this out. The old, the old. There wasn't a snake under this sheet a moment ago. Yeah. Mm. But now there is a snake under the sheet, but you can only pet it. You can't see it. Watch the sheet rise. Magic. Rise. <laughs> rise. Like a dick. Oh. <laughs> like a dick. Keep That's keep what. rub keep petting the snake and a pigeon will fly out any second. <laughs> what kind of tricks does he show you in the middle of the night? And why of all times in the middle of the night? Just, that's when he comes up with them. That's when we're all the most creative, isn't it? I I don't <laughs> It's usually just like card tricks and shit like that. I don't <laughs> Yeah. Any wh what's like a cool trick that he sort of like any weird anything that he does other than cards? He can like shove a cigarette up his nose and then pull it out of his mouth. Wow. Yeah. Or like anything. No, he you can't. know. You mean like your dick? Yeah, like my dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he shoves a cigarette up his nose, makes comes out of his mouth, or anything. Yeah. <laughs> that means he did a lot of drugs. Oh yeah. Yeah. For sure. He did. The old cigarette up the nose and out of the mouth. Yeah. God damn. That's interesting. Has he taught you anything? You know, you have any cool magic tricks? Any cool little thing you could do? No. No, nothing at all. What nothing. do you do? <laughs> what do you, what do, you do for a living? Uh, I work for a catering company. What do you do for the catering company? Uh, late, you just do whatever random gigs. But right, I've been washing dishes <laughs> at Google headquarters like for the last couple uh. weeks. It's oh God. While you're there, you should search for a better job. Yeah. <laughs> Washing dishes yeah, at yeah. Google? Yeah, I get. <laughs> Do you still tell people like, yeah, I work for Google? <laughs> <laughs> That's his pickup line. I work in DW uh, over at Google. DW. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. You know. How did you find that job? Asked Jeeves. <laughs> Mm, I like it when it's silent. <laughs> hey, you're a caterer, right? It's pronounced caterer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I love it. Chris, so you're in catering. You're washing dishes at Google. Man, have you met anybody cool over there? Not at all. Just a bunch of nerds. Different ethnicities. They have dogs. Yeah. They, they have dogs in the office. Can you believe uh, that? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds f cool. What's your love life like? You take any chicks back to uh, hang out with the magician at night? <laughs> he surprisingly does sometimes. Why is that surprising to you? Because there's a lot of people living in this hostel. There's. There's an improv actor. There's oh, God. A <laughs> a there's a Get the magician to make him disappear. There's a fat Mexican chick. Oh, okay. They're cool. Oh, I take offense She's cool. to that. That's cool. Oh, okay. Um, right. There's... I like fat Mexican chicks. They're always, always very they're always dude, great. I think this guy plays bass. Uh, another guy that plays bass. Hell yeah. It's a real creative community. Wow. <laughs> Man. Yeah. It's a creative community and an improv actor. Well, oh, yeah, and an improv, yeah. <laughs> she sucks. If, if you guys are so creative, why don't you draw a picture of a rainbow? <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> why would a dirty outdoor cat say that? Um, Chris, so, so the magician takes a lot of girls back to this hostel? Is it like open beds and like shit like that? Do you see what goes on over there? 
You ever jerk off to the magician getting laid? That sounds like I, the I, saddest <laughs> existence in the world, right? You're just like, under your own sheets, like, oh, just looking at the magician somebody having sex. Right I've been really Fucking incredible. You should, you should get him to uh, cut her in half one day so that you could fuck half of her, too. That'd be cool. Oh. <laughs> Which half would you pick? The top half, bottom half? Good question. Think about it. Probably Don't be funny either. The bottom half, you get the bottom half, you get the bottom half, right? Yeah, bottom half, you get two holes. Yeah, what if the bottom yeah. half was dirty though? Ooh, Both, uh, good question. Brian hel- hangs out with a lot of girls that don't wipe properly. Yeah, <laughs> they wipe back to front. Too much. <laughs> I guess that yeah, I guess the top half is safer. Yeah. All right, I love that. Right. I love that we got a real answer uh, out yeah, of uh, which, that don't be which half of the woman I'm would glad you I sleep like it. with <laughs> if your magician buddy cut his girlfriend in half. All right, Chris. Well, uh, it was good to meet you, buddy. Hell yeah, rock and roll, Chris Wilmoth, everyone. He's on Twitter at the real Barack B R O C. Wub Savell is Wubsy Daisy. Jerdy is Jerdy Comedy. Ooh, that's like the Seinfeld theme or something. How does that work? Do you know how to do that? Is that a thing? You probably know. It's played on like a keyboard bass. Oh, it's usually played on a keyboard bass. Tall is um, tall is Australian. And oh yeah. What's yeah. up with living in a hostel? She's a prodigy. So lucky to be friends with her. She's the coolest. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for A. J. Faji. I believe that's what this says. Or A. Is it? Hold on one second. Hold on. Wait. 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 Is it A? If you have a name. Oh yeah, it is A. J. Faji. F. A. J. I. No. All right. A. J. Faji. Sounds like he's about to blow himself up in another room. Boom. <laughs> oh my God, I am excited about this, ladies and gentlemen. I, I find it that it would be, cons- I mean, how many of you happen to already listen to last week's episode with Tom Segura? You were here for it. Oh wow, a lot of you. That's so fucking awesome. I think you're gonna be really excited. I know this entire cast is gonna be because we had the debut of a young lady on this show last week that was uh, really interesting, and I'm really excited to see if she gets redemption here tonight. Kept the show going last week. It was incredible. Her name has two exclamation points, and it's only one word. Put your hands together for Bunny! All this, there she is. All right, this right here is an anthem for all my gap tooth brothers and sisters. The width of your gap don't matter. Your smile's beautiful and it lights up your whole face. Let's go! What you want to say about my gap tooth? Speak louder when you talk about my gap tooth. Because I'm here to listen. I won't say a peep. I just might whistle through the space in my teeth. Haters suggesting veneers and braces. They're just a bunch of gap tooth racists. Say what you want and do what you do. Now I know I got space, but your breath smells like poo. Oh! In summer in the pool, I got water in my mouth. It won't stay there long because I'm spitting it out. Through my teeth comes out in a steady flow Looking like a classy water fountain in Rome Saving money on floss and toothpicks Cut off oh, Saving money on floss and toothpicks Cause food falls out with a good strong tongue lick Say what you want and do what you do Now I know I got space but your breath smells like Alright, that's it That's a minute Roar! All right, bunny, relax, breathe. You know I've been waiting for that all week, though. What's the chances? How are you, bunny? Um, How do you you feel right now? I feel like that was really fucking good, besides the fact, besides the point that I forgot my lyrics. This is what you said last week. It was a goddamn anomaly. For those of you that didn't listen to last week's episode, bunny came on, did a rap, uh, it was silent pretty much throughout the entire rap, the audience was. And then she said she did good, and uh, we told her she did not. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then I cried She said so that much. she took a chance doing a rap, that she also does stand-up comedy. And we told her it probably would have been a better idea to do stand-up comedy <laughs> for the minute. 
to try yeah, to have tried stand up comedy instead of doing a beatless rap. We warned her. One week later, she just came back, and to our very surprise, she committed to yet another horrible rap. I'm gonna keep doing it. It's gonna be my thing now. I decided. Uh, how long have you been in LA again? You and me. No, don't, 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 don't. Stop, stop, bunny, 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 bunny. You can't, bunny. Don't do your own thing. You have to listen to the questions know, and answer them. Uh, no, three weeks. I was gonna do it to the song. Three weeks. Three weeks. No, don't do anything to a song, bunny. Three it's not working weeks. for you at all. Okay. All right. You're right. Three weeks. You're the star, not me. Bunny. All right, let's jump right into this. You're three weeks in. I'm about to save your life. You ready for it? Don't ever fucking rap on a stage again. It's horrible. Seriously. It's unbearable. Bad. It's not good. It'll never be good. Whoever, whichever your friends told you that that was a thing that you could just do on a stage, they all lied to you. <laughs> your, those friends are liars, and you should cut them out of your life. I'm being serious. This isn't even a joke. They're cracking well, up, but that's because they're a bunch of assholes. Those guys, they're the comedians. They just laugh when I'm honest. And I'm being very honest right now. And I'm killing at the same time. But it's so, sort of both. I mean, it's not really a joke. It's the truth. But this, in this case, it's very funny. It's going All right, too one much one music. Your bunny, your bunny can't do two things at once, people. I need Bunny to pay attention to what I'm saying. Bunny, what makes you think that uh, like people are going to just commit to raps, like laugh at reactive. Well, I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm like an Eminem rapper, but like, but have you're you ever you're heard of Yeah, Aaron you're more Carter? like a Snickers yeah, or something like that. <laughs> I grew up listening to Aaron Carter, and What'd I just, just like want to Aaron's party Bunny. come get it. Bunny I, need you? Bunny, I need you to put your listening ears on. What did you just say? Do you know who Aaron Carter is? They look like my cat. I'm dying. Yeah, I know, I know who Aaron is. Do you Bunny, see this? Bunny, yeah, you're I need you to fucking focus on me or else you're going to bomb on both your performance and the guest part. I need you to really pull focus right now. You ready? What else do you do here? What's your plan? You're here for three weeks and you're rapping on a stage every Monday. What do you do for work? Um, actually, I just got a job. Um, I'm going to be a behavioral technician for kids with autism. I was going to say she had ADD. So, you know. What are you going to do for kids with autism? I'm going to perform for them. I'm going to oh, show no. them. No, we can't let this happen. I'm going to teach them how to rap. No, I need to write a letter of recommendation to this school to let make sure that that does not happen. You, I cannot have know that kids are out there becoming more autistic because of your performances. Even kids, even kids with autism would be like, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh my God. Is the band mad it's that true. she's uh, she's appropriating cat culture right now with that T-shirt? I know. It was like meant to be. No, it's oh. not a good thing. Oh. <laughs> I think so everything's a good thing. So you rap, but you come out with the name Bunny. Rappers have like tough names. Hi. Bunny, come That's on, red bunny. eyes. Red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> red beady eyes doesn't red fuck eyes you up, the, man. That's bunny, a do rabbit. You, you do Not drugs or anything? You do any drugs? Uh, yes, I I said it in my last rap. Um, I like weed and mushrooms. Oh, weed and mushrooms. You yeah. said that in the rap last week or this yeah, one? They're both unlistenable, so I have no idea. <laughs> so weed and mushrooms. How often do you do mushrooms? Uh, I like to spread it out, like, probably, like, once every three months. Oh. I do it, like, you know, a or I microdose and just, like, hang out. And people are like, oh, my God, you're so fun. I'm like, I'm microdosing. No uppers, though, huh? I don't, oh, my God, I try to do coke, and it's like it does nothing for me. You try oh, to I do know, it. Because you do? you're already there. I'm you're coked. already coked up. Yeah. How do you Good try to do coke? For sure. That's what I'm fishing for. Oh, there you go. Let's say fish I around the you cat. You tell her can that I she seems coked up cat? and to respond. Can I take one strand She from picks cat? up a ball of fucking yarn. <laughs> Bunny, uh, I'm going to move on from you this time. I week. felt like you would. Yep. There you go. Bunny, But you know everybody. what? No, it's okay, Bunny. You Thank don't have you. to talk anymore. Thank you so much. There she goes. It's Bunny, everyone. Thank you. She's on Instagram at Bunny Made a Funny. Bunny Made a Funny. On Instagram. Kitty feels pity. 
It's a ruthless world. I mean, if the guest doesn't listen, then the whole thing goes off its tracks. Then I just have some yapping person up here that's super annoying. The yarn! Oh, wow. We met this young lady. She made her Kill Tony debut a few weeks ago. She listens properly during the guest portion. She performs. We're very excited to bring her back up here again. She killed last time she was on. Put your hands together for the second ever Kill Tony performance of Leela Hart, everyone. <laughs> Come on, everybody, make some fucking noise! All but small things, true cares. Hi, guys. <laughs> so, I'm originally from Seattle, uh, home of Starbucks. You know, coffee stunts your growth. <laughs> um, my dad's a correctional officer, and growing up, he always used to say, Lila, don't get a DUI. And I didn't. I never got a DUI, but what I did get was uh, a DU fly, and that's when you get arrested at the Oakland airport, and they're like, ma'am, you've had a little bit too much to drink, and I'm like, what? I'm not even flying this plane. Uh, but apparently, you shouldn't talk back to police officers because they did handcuff and arrest me. And I just feel so bad for all of those innocent people at the airport. They must have been thinking like, what did this child do? <laughs> She's a threat to America. Damn right. Um, was that, oh, okay. Anyways, I, uh, you would think that's when I would realize that I might have a drinking problem, you know? But that's not what I was thinking when I was laying there in jail. I thought to myself, oh my God. Go ahead. I'm gonna fucking make it. <laughs> <laughs> Lila Hart. Fuck yeah. Can I start by saying yeah. one thing? Yeah. <laughs> Will you marry him? No. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Even better than that. Yeah, go ahead. If Lila and I had a kid, it'd be a normal sized kid. <laughs> <laughs> and adorable. It'd be Jer. <laughs> It'd be Jer. <laughs> Jer's like, yeah, I'm dating a rich, a rich girl. My parents are little people. I don't. Daddy wow. and mommy are small. They are. Lila, <laughs> <laughs> wow. that was a fucking awesome performance. Thank that was you. really great. You did it again. Um, You're, uh, for the people listening to the podcast, how tall are you, tall are you Lila? Uh, four six. Four six. Well, I think I'm four four, but I just round out, round up a little bit. Oh, you round up a little bit? Yeah. So you're probably four four. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. If we're being four. honest. You round yeah. up to four eight. <laughs> 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 Lila, uh, remind me, uh, like, what do you do again? Uh, I do digital advertisement uh -huh. on Facebook. You're a, you're a professional megapixel? <laughs> I thought that was better. All right. That joke deserved a little more credit. <laughs> I thought so. From the digital. Uh, what do you do for the digital people? What, do they, what does that mean exactly? Um, I do like Facebook ads for some YouTube people. Oh. Okay. Just the just the smaller windows that pop up though, right? Oh Not the. <laughs> Oh, God. what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I was going to say, you could probably fit into a YouTube. Yeah. Feature. <laughs> Literally into the tube. Wow. Wow, they're giving you the chant even though they hated it. <laughs> they want you to kill so hard right now. Um, Lila. Wow, so how's life? What's going on? You were on the show a few weeks ago. Since the last time we saw you, anything in your real life happen or um, change? I just or? got back from the Philippines. Oh, ah! wow. <laughs> I hate yes. the Philippines. <laughs> How the fuck have you ever been to the Philippines? <laughs> they eat us over there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What were you doing over in the Philippines? Um, I, I was <laughs> Farming there. for Victoria's Secret. I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess nobody cared about that. She's wearing, <laughs> she's wearing overalls and a bra. Is no one going to mention that? All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> You just went on a little vacation? Um, no, I actually went there for work. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. What, what were you doing over there? Uh, my YouTubers had a meet and greet for this charity that they run, Dance Ember. Wow. So, yes, yeah, so we just met a bunch of fans. 
Yeah. And we took pictures, and they were really nice. And then I got to see my grandma, who I haven't seen in like 14 years. So she lives great. in the Philippines? Yeah, my whole, uh, pa- on my mom's side, the whole family lives there. So it was really awesome, and it was a beautiful experience. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Anything uh, anything stand out to you during your trip? Any weird moments or anything wild? Um, there was like a bunch of stray cats everywhere. What? <laughs> <laughs> like a ton of them. Like, and I would just go play with them and feed My them. My brothers and, and sisters. <laughs> And hey, did the did the, uh, did, uh, did the did uh, did the Manila envelope get invented in Philippines? Oh, because of Manila. Manila, yeah. Um, I don't think so. Uh. <laughs> so there was a bunch of uh, stray cats at one point in your trip to the Philippines. Yeah, there's a bunch of like stray animals everywhere. Oh, and sounds it's fine because you get to play with them, but it's really sad. Sounds just as beautiful as you said it was. <laughs> the old stray animals <laughs> places. Um, Lila, what else is going on in life? Do you do you have any like special uh, things that you like to do, like for fun or anything like that, when you're not doing stand-up comedy? Or um, I go hiking every day. Hiking? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you go hiking up? Ant hills? <laughs> 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 yeah, it takes twelve hours. It's not <laughs> funny. <laughs> it's fucking. I I go to Runyon, but you know, like it's so steep that it does feel like rock climbing for me. Right. Yeah. yeah. No. You just made that joke. I'm <laughs> People sorry. ever say weird things to you out there, you know, ignorant things or anything? Oh, yeah, all the time. Yeah. Like just, what? Uh, just like, like that uh, she hikes anthills. <laughs> 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 that doesn't count. We're in a comedy room. Uh, Isn't that how that works? Do, do people ever interview you awkwardly? <laughs> What? I'm catty, Tony. <laughs> wow. All right. Bunch of litter happening over there. Lila, so how about that? What's an example of that? Um, I mean, a lot of it's kind of like sexual. Uh, like, oh, could you, like, can you even have sex? Stuff like that. You know, or like, what would it be like to be with you? And uh, you, do, you do drink, right? No, I don't. Oh. I used to. I don't anymore. Oh, I'm how sober. long have you been sober for? Uh, 128 days. Wow, mm-hmm. 128 days. That's fucking cool. Not only is AA where you go, it's also your bra size. <laughs> what the fuck, people? <laughs> it's because she's tiny, not because of the tits. <laughs> that got an awe too. It's a sense of they love you, Lila. I can't even roast you. They turn on me. I love you guys too. It's just oohs and ahs when I make fun <laughs> of you. Frank, you got anything? Roast battle champion reigning defending Frank Castillo working the door here tonight. He just can't let go of his job at the comedy store for some reason. Doesn't want to <laughs> really take it to the next level. He loves taking pictures of himself working at the comedy store all the time. So. <laughs> Absolutely the weirdest shit in the world. About to start another shift. (laughs) Follow him on Instagram at Frank Castillo. Tell him to fucking quit his job and start doing more stand-up. He's one of my favorite people. (coughs) Um, All right. Well, Lila, how is your love life going? Anything fancy happen? I, um, I'm, I'm... Ooh, (laughs) shit. (laughs) Uh, I'm like, kind I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Ooh. I mean, I don't know. I, uh. She's wow. fucking a couple dudes, and she <laughs> just doesn't want people to know. Wow. <laughs> Man, I almost feel like there might be a dude in this room or something <laughs> like that, by the way. that Am I right? Oh, wow. Bec- yeah, I can tell because you're, like, really yeah. shy about answering it. It's almost different. Just though. point in his direction. Yeah, which one is it? <laughs> is, is it, is it Jerdy? <laughs> Once I secretly dated a calico, and it was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, Lila. Well, you're banging a comedian, obviously. No, it's not. You're not? No. No. It's not a comic. Oh, it's not. Do oh, boys... Oh, my God. I mean, I'm not banging anyone. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. Why am I so nervous? Okay. My goodness. <laughs> Looks like you know how to keep a secret, Lila. <laughs> this is good for uh, all the guys. Take <laughs> note in this room. Uh, <laughs> did you uh, Did you meet any men in the Philippines that you hit it off with? No. I was there for work. Strictly business. Do boys ever ask you if you can fit the whole bird in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Just me, okay. 
Hmm. All right, Lila. What scares you? What are you afraid of? Um, I'm really not. I uh, I'm not really afraid of much. I don't know. Ghosts? Anything? No. I think it'd be cool the to dark? see a ghost. What? I think it'd be cool to see a ghost. Sure. Yeah. The rest yeah, of the world agrees of? with you. <laughs> it's never happened before. You're it'd also be cool to see a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> what they scares you? What are you afraid of? They sell unicorns? What do you mean? Oh, there is Starbucks. Oh, a unicorn. I wish I had a cool answer for you, but I can't really think. I'm not really afraid of much right now. You're fearless? I'm fearless. <sighs> yeah. Really? I'm not afraid of anything right now. Huh. I'm Nothing scared like is of so out. much. I can't, I can't even wrap my head around that. What are you afraid I'm of? I'm scared of dying, first off. No. Are you You're not scared, scared about not get not being able to get on specific roller coasters that you like? <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm like I can get on roller coasters. I'm like just right there oh, for perfect. the most part. So. Well, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lila. Well, mm -hmm. there you go. There Thank she you. is, Lila Hart. <laughs> wow, a standing ovation! Look at that from a young Howard Stern. Jesus How awesome. All right. Wait. All right. Let's get uh, let's get the uh, the old queen bee up here. Once a week, there's a regular yeah. on this show that writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. Uh, she started with us even before she was 21. She had to go away for a while. She's been on the show for a couple years. She uh, writes and performs a brand new minute every single week. We love her. It's the baby Frankenstein of Kiltoni, the monster herself, the great Allie Makovsky, everyone. Here she comes. Put your hands together for Allie, everybody. Come on. Hi. I'm still getting used to this haircut. Uh, people treat me a little bit differently, you know. People always vaguely compare me to people that I look like, but it's not even based on my face, it's just based on the haircut. And the worst part is it's usually not people who are hot. <laughs> like no one compared me to anyone when I had long black hair. No one was like, you look like the girl from The Ring. <laughs> like, yeah, I know, that's because I look like Jennifer Lawrence. I obviously don't know what I look like. <laughs> but I'm trying. People, people always say this to me as well. They say, um, Allie, you were so beautiful before you cut off your hair. <laughs> well, then where were you? If, <laughs> if you told me that before, I wouldn't have had to do this. <laughs> There you go. Another new minute from Ali Makovsky. Beautiful. Easy breezy. What do people tell you that you look like? David Fucking Bowie from everything. the movie Labyrinth? I've gotten that one. Every I've photo. Have you? Have you really gotten that one? I mean, just now, yeah. Oh, there you go. I just got literally before this someone from Rocky IV. Uh, <laughs> yes, indeed. The and hair has completely, yes, it has evolved into that. Yeah, and it's always people who've like later on in life lost it all. You know, like people who've gone well, to rehab, who've died of overdoses. That's not true. David Bowie's doing just fine right now. Um, anyway, uh, or you're not Lila. Um, Allie, what are, uh, the great fuck was I just, gonna Allie, great, yep. uh, la great, uh, that last joke I think is great. Thank uh, you. It feels like a classic, like it feels Thank like, you. it feels really good. Thanks so much. Hmm. Allie, you look like every photo in every salon ever. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I'm like, I've gone through all the haircuts that they have. There's like pictures. It's like, do you want number one? Do you want number five? I'm all of them. I've been all of them. The, girl, cool the girl from Rocky Four was like the original Melania. 
she like really she was a fun character. Says who? I thought you were talking about the Russian guy from Rocky. It is. It's uh, it's his yeah, it's his, his wife and manager. <laughs> She's like the boss. Red Man thought, thought you were talking the about dude? the guy. <laughs> you thought the it was Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, I thought you were talking about Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> the person who brought it up to me was like, I will kill you. <laughs> no, he didn't have. He had a buzz cut. Yeah. Jesus, this one guy's you furious. Like a huge Rocky Four fan in the corner of the room. <laughs> hey, Allie, you look like Chris, our bass player. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. That's fun. <laughs> Allie. See, it doesn't stop. <laughs> no, it really the doesn't. The jokes ride themselves. Well, not really. We have to do that part. <laughs> well, I did that part, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. I mean, you know, someone has to step into Ric Flair's footsteps <laughs> at some point. <laughs> I'm ready. So what? What's the? Uh, oh, they just write themselves. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What's the thought? Pro are you gonna grow it out? Are you? What? Are you enjoying this? Is this? Um, do you think about it on a day to day I don't basis? Are you about to? Are you about, about to start your own like WikiLeaks company or something <laughs> like that? Have you thought about leaking information? No. <laughs> that's, what? That, that's not what Ric Flair was known for. <laughs> um. Um, no, I don't know what I'm going to do with the hair. I'm just going to, I'll probably shave it again. Maybe it'll grow out. Who knows? Stay You're tuned. You're talking about your head? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> just checking. <laughs> That'd be fun if I waxed my head. <laughs> That'd be dope. If I went to the lady who does the bush down under, if I was like, can you also get mm. this? <laughs> <She's> <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> it is very like rock and roll. Yeah, I'm pretty. Do guys like it? It's an interesting type, you know. It's a niche market. Yeah, gay guys, right? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Oh my god, I yeah. love guys it. that are, guys that are still in the closet. Yeah, yeah it's. But see, the thing is, even even when I had long hair, I always thought that the guys who liked me were gay. Right. So now, especially with this, I'm like, well, fuck. I'm like basically making myself a target for closet and. Right. Amen. You look like, like right now where your hair is, you seem like the type of lesbian that wears a strap on dildo all the time. Not even in the bedroom, is like underneath. <laughs> yeah. She looks like Pony Boy from The Outsiders post eye job. Wow. Look at that. Very. Man, obviously Ryan J. Belt isn't the only one that reads here. I guess that's from the movie, actually. <laughs> she looks like the character from that book. <laughs> I'm yeah, I such an idiot. I could look like <laughs> oh my god. The screenplay was in my litter box. <coughs> Anything else happen interesting in your past week, Allie? The never ending question. Probably, but God, if I could remember it right now. Hmm. What happened to the dudes that went to San Diego? Oh yeah. Oh so the Londoners. Yeah, yeah, yeah with yeah, the, yeah. the yeah. Londoners that broke you last week. <laughs> For okay. those of you that didn't listen last week, Allie was broken. <laughs> Yeah. I she was pretty <laughs> Apologizing during her set. They walked her You guys the probably team. aren't going to like this next joke. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then they didn't. Has, yeah. any, has anyone ever told you you look like Falcor from NeverEnding Story? A traitor! A It is me, JD! Sick boy shit! <laughs> oh my god, you guys do impressions. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, Jolbert, you don't have any impressions? Nah, dude. <laughs> How about you, Jason? Nope. Nothing. Not an impression. Really? Nope. You guys can't even. All right. Nothing. Yeah. Nice you don't try. have like a weird thing that you surprise yourself. Lately, I've realized uh, I've been, I I uh, downloaded a few System of a Down songs oh, to yeah. my uh, to my playlist, and I've realized that I have the ability to turn into that front man from. Uh, no, I'm not doing it. No, Brian, don't don't do it. Yeah. I'm not do doing it. it. Do no, it. I'm doing it at the goddamn. It. Nope. Do no, I'm doing it at the goddamn do comedy it. jam. It's very exclusive. You got it live right Can't now. Can't do it. Can't do it. It's for another show. <laughs> I fucking hate you guys. No, stop it. Brian, stop. Brian, you have to stop it. I can't really do it. I can only do it if I'm by myself right now. You can boo me all you want. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. I'm preparing for a performance for the goddamn comedy jams and practical jokes cruise, cruise November winners. one through five. <laughs> Only the people on that cruise are lucky enough to see my performance. I can't blow it now. Jeremiah, it's not happening. You can get down. Bad kitty. 
I don't down think kitty. You can. I don't think you can. <laughs> yeah. Do we need to call a fireman right now? All right, let's keep moving along. That's Ali Makovsky, ladies and gentlemen. You know her, you love her. What's Follow her on Twitter and Instagram at not Ali Mac. N O T A L I M A C. There she goes. One more time for Ali Makovsky. She ghosted us just like the London dudes did to her. Oh yeah. We never <laughs> fucking found out about that. Fucking Disorder. Disorder. <laughs> wow. Is that really yours? Is that yours? Okay. Here, I'll I'll make a, I'll make a promise. I'll make I'll make a I'll make a promise right now. When I quit. All right. Okay. So I'll make a I promise. I fucking love System of a Down. Me too. And I'll make yeah, a promise too. with you right now, Jeremiah, is that when we get back from the Impractical Jokers cruise, I'll have an impression off with you. And we'll do that guy from System of a Down. Oh. A showdown. Ooh, the suspense <laughs> is killing this audience. <laughs> what? I'm catty. <laughs> you already used that one. I pulled another name I'm out of the... Wow, again. this looks uh, really interesting. A lot of words on this piece of paper right here. That's always, that's always a pretty decent sign. Put your hands together for Kevin Alexander, Cowboy Parachute. Kevin Alexander. Is this Kevin? Here he comes. Kevin Alexander, the one and the only. How's it going, everybody? So I'm not a very big dude. I don't work out. So I don't look very intimidating. But I found if I uh, put a hoodie on and go out at night, <laughs> shit works great. I know I don't sound black. And that's pretty fucked up because in my head, I sound like Denzel Washington. <laughs> but what you hear sounds more like Gary Coleman <laughs> fucked Kermit the Frog. <laughs> if I had my choice, I'd have a deep voice like, um, like um, Barry White. Uh. Just go around singing, whatever, whatever. Baby, I'm licking your ass tonight. <laughs> I was born with a rare disease. Some of you might have noticed it. It's called SF. Stand for stupid face. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Kevin Alexander. There he is. <laughs> What's Cowboy Parachute? What's Cowboy Parachute? And Tony. what's that next word? Cowboy Parachute Rigger, I uh, produced... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I guess Hold he's on. allowed to say that word. <laughs> no, that's our word. That's... <laughs> no, stop, Brian. Go. Thank you, Don't Brian. Do that no, anymore. Rigger is our word. You can't say that. <laughs> How long have you been a Rigger for? <laughs> all my life, Tony. <laughs> wow, all your life. <laughs> your parents were Riggers, too? <laughs> You is like a rigger with attitude. You this know is why. I <laughs> fucking love you. Goddamn. Joe Berg. Joe Berg. Got man. it. All right, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So how's life been going? What's happening? We've met you before. You've been on this show before. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, life's been going great. Yeah? Uh, just working hard. Um, I love coming here. Listen to you guys' podcast. You guys kill me. Um, You've been rigging. Great. You've been rigging. <laughs> <laughs> You've been rigging. I've been rigging. What does that entail exactly? <laughs> what does a rigger? <laughs> what does a rigger do? Is it like? Tread carefully, Tony. <laughs> As a black cat, I do not <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh. Black cats matter. <laughs> Uh, I pack parachutes for NASA. 
wait, that's the opposite of what I told a rigger does. <laughs> oh, anyway. <laughs> well, you didn't pack the parachute for dude that jumped from space, did you? No. no I knew it. All right, moving that. on. Go ahead. Tony, next question. <laughs> wow. Has anybody ever told you you look like the rich Jamaican from Cool Runnings? <laughs> <laughs> I never saw that movie, but no, no, no. <laughs> so you pack parachutes for people? Yes, sir. All right. Let's slow things down here for a second. Mm. <laughs> How long have you been doing that? Uh, with this company, I've been with this company for five years. Have you ever had any failed parachutes? No. Wow. People are always safe with you. Yeah, a rigger's got to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> a rigger, a rigger is the last one to let you down. <laughs> Damn. And I was always told riggers were lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love you too, man. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? What do you do for fun, Kevin? Um, I like, uh, oh yeah, that's right, I like, I like watching NASCAR. Uh, Wait, what? I can snow ski, I can water what? ski. Why do you watch? Snowboard. <laughs> Wait a second. Skydive, <laughs> scuba dive. Was you scuba dive? That's funny. I don't think you're a rigger at all, dude. <laughs> I think you've been lied to your wait a minute, entire wait a minute, life. Wait a minute. Is he fucking with me? I don't think you're a rigger. In fact, I think you're a right person. <laughs> <laughs> you're one of the rightest people I've ever met in my entire life. Story of my life. <clears throat> scuba diving. How often do you go scuba diving? Actually, I haven't scuba dived in a couple years. I'm starting to get scared of it now. No. Do you do you scuba dive? He's like, it's the swimming part. <laughs> do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel I feel like you scuba diving is how a lot of people skydive. Like you're just attached to a white guy and he's doing <laughs> the swimming and you're just. Oh, Tony's. <laughs> and you're just snorkeling around. Tony, he's part. <laughs> if you can, if you just, he's part seal. <laughs> His part seal applies not only because of the animal, but also because of the musical <laughs> artist. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Bitch, <I'm not>. Man. <laughs> What's your love life like, Kevin? Uh, I've been married to my beautiful wife for five years. Fuck yeah. Man, wives are I always guess. beautiful. You ever realize yeah, that? People of course. Like, I've been married to my beautiful wife, and then you see her, and you're like, ugh. <laughs> Ten years. Ten years. I, it, it seems like the sex Five. must be good. You're giving her that big rigger dick. Uh, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Isn't that true? I've heard that all riggers have gigantic, gigantic yeah. penises. Yeah. Pack are good. Yeah. Am I allowed to be doing this? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Am I just kissing every network opportunity I ever had away on this? Nah. This is the moment. Nah. Did you ever see the rigger thing he did that one Monday? I want to do it's the out there on the internet. I want to do the thing where we beep the beginning of it every time you say rigor. <laughs> just, just take out the front letter though. Just keep the. Can I say that? It's almost. It feels worse saying just. Not right. <laughs> oh, there you go. Igor, were you gonna say Igor? Yeah. Yeah, it does feel worse. Right, <laughs> it does. Rigor is an actual thing. <laughs> <sighs> The only thing I find comfort in is after we all get killed tonight, I have eight more lives. <laughs> Jeremiah motherfucking Watkins. How, well, you, you, how are you able to keep your love life sustainable after ten years of oh, being with the same woman? Five oh, years. five years. Well, same fucking question. We're just happy. We're just happy-go-lucky people. We're just like having fun. We just laugh. Is your wife white? Time. Yes, sir. Of course she is. <laughs> you think his black wife is going to watch NASCAR with him? No, that's why I asked him. She doesn't even watch it. <laughs> did, you meet, did you meet her in the air? <laughs> you were like falling and you looked at her and you're like, Do you guys still wear a parachute or do you free fall? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, she's fucking powerful. Hell yeah. <laughs> now you have feline AIDS. Where'd you meet her at? Uh, Yuma, Arizona. Wow, what were you doing up in Yuma? What, what, what crime were you running away from? <laughs> Everybody in Yuma, it's like all the Wild West shit. 
We were uh, drop that's testing. A, that's how long did you live in? Oh, Yuma she's a rigger for? also. I didn't, I didn't know. She was a bartender. She's a white rigger. She's a. <laughs> <laughs> no, Joel. <laughs> I, be a, I believe the word you're looking for is wigger. <laughs> rigger. A rigger. <laughs> rigger. She's a rigger lover. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've always said that about her, and that's that's why I'm happy you guys ended up together. Thank you. Thank you. What do uh, what do her parents think about her dating a rigger? <laughs> they, we're good. Her, da her dad's awesome. Did they? Oh, they don't know. It sounds like oh, they, they don't know. know. They know. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, it's all right, Dad. He watches NASCAR and scuba dives. He's like one of us. He's a rigger with a job. <laughs> uh, damn. <laughs> Just imagine how awkward that must be with them. I'm sure like her father's probably a little bit older and they're on the phone like, Dad, I'm dating a rigger. God damn it, Susan! This is like, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> no. What does he do for work? Oh, Dad, he's a rigger. God damn it, I know he's a rigger! Does he have a job? Yes, Dad, he's a rigger. Yes, I saw the picture, I know he's a fucking rigger! <laughs> it's just unbelievably funny to me. If I gave up my career tonight, well then, we're going to start a Patreon. I think we should just start a Patreon, Patreon. next week yeah. anyway. I'm pretty sure this show's costing me every job I auditioned yeah. for and everything. They Google me once and they're like, oh, he's, it's, it's insanity. I, that's why I rationalize my lack of success you, you, in there's Hollywood. Something funny, there's something funny about uh, doing white people shit. Like, do you ju so do you ever jump out of a plane? Have oh, you, yeah. Uh, how many times have you skydived? Like, I got about 850 jumps. Wow. I got, a, I got a bit called doing white people shit. I once got jumped by a black guy. <laughs> yeah, 850 jumps sounds like a Gucci Mane album title. <laughs> <laughs> He's got jumps on jumps on jumps. <laughs> jump, yeah, jump man, jump man, jump man, <laughs> jump. <laughs> you wear Jordans when you... <laughs> 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 you do this? <laughs> you skydive like this? <laughs> Joe Bird! He's fucking Joel killing it. <laughs> wow. So, what, what else do you do? What else is super white about you, if you had to guess? His pants? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Sorry, they're short. Drive right. a big black 4 by <laughs> Whoa. 4 by Four by four. That's short four for four, four by four. See, yes, I'm sir. just I'm like a little boy. I don't even know this shit. <laughs> like four by. Wow. Big black truck. Big black truck. Wow. White what? comedy. Yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. Stupid why why do you do so it? Dumb. How long have you done it for? What's that? Comedy? Yeah. Oh, I've only done your show three this is the third time I've done it. That's the only three Damn. times you've ever been on stage? Wow, very cool. <laughs> Thank you. You're a real natural at things that white people are extremely good at. <laughs> why don't Why don't you go to mics and stuff all the time? Why don't you do it all the well, time? Well, I'm in Orange, and you know I work a lot, and I'm actually trying to find a lot of open mics down there. I need to get up. I'm just dying to get up. And started watching that show. I'm uh, dying up here, and uh, yeah, I'm you're loving the whole thing. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm trying. I gotta just do a lot it more. of our right all the that. time. You're in Orange. You should move to Grape. Yeah, that was good. True. That was really good. <laughs> yeah, you should find mics, man. Get up more. You're funny. There's something funny about you. Thank you, bro. Sorry for being uh, real. I perform Thank as often as I can. Last week, I, I actually performed at a place I haven't performed at in a long time. I performed at the Ha Ha Cafe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I had, a, uh, I had a showcase for the uh, Deaf Comedy Jam where I, I on that show I performed, I think, with a bunch of riggers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. The last time other. I was at the Ha Ha, they just called it the cafe. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> uh, you make know what? I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> we make this interview like 30 minutes longer just because we're so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I think, in honor of all the rigor talk, I think this set should run a little late. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okie dokie. All right, now it's crossing a line. All it's right. crossing wow. a this type of Mason wow. Dixon line or this something. This interview, this vi this interview has died in rigor mortis has set in. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes, Kevin Alexander. Thanks, everybody. What do you guys think? Should we go to the bucket one more time? Yeah. Huh? One more? 
Yeah. Back there, they're not even clapping their hands. They don't even want it. Oh, thumbs up. Gladiator style. All right. Let's do it one more time. Let's see who the fuck's going to get lucky. Could be anybody. All right. Let's see what happens here. Put your hands together. I think this guy's been up here before. Put your hands together for King Hassan. King Hassan. Here he comes. Fuck yeah. Make some noise for King Hassan. Yeah, I'm like uh, what every old grandparent's nightmares are made out of. I'm like, I'm like what Har- I'm like Harvey Weinstein's uh, fever dream. Let, let me tell you something. Speaking about uh, assaulting white women. <laughs> The juice is loose, baby. O.J. Simpson's out. <laughs> here's, a great, here's, here's, the, here's the one thing that bothers me about O.J. Simpson. Uh, he was actually a pretty good comedic actor, and he broke every single NFL rushing record there was at the time. But he's going to go down in history for allegedly killing one white woman. Right? That's what he's going to be known for forever. Magic Johnson was an NBA all-star in the 80s with AIDS. I allege he killed way more white women. (laughs) Because of the AIDS, people used to, all right. All right, I'm gonna end there. King Hassan. (laughs) Fuck yeah. You are by far one of the funniest Blind comedians we've ever had on the show before. I was in a car accident. You were in a car accident? No, well, I was walking and a car hit me and ran me over. And uh, I smacked my head on the ground. And I, I have eight stitches under here. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was either this it's, or It's the best iPad. impression of a stitch that I've seen all night, I'll <laughs> tell you that. King Hassan, you got run over by a car. Now yeah. I, 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 now I yeah. realize what you were just telling yeah. me. He's He's the stand-up gazillionaire. Yes. You just started stand-up how long ago? Uh, two years ago. And we and you sold a company a few years ago we, for a lot of money, yeah, we figured out. For a lot, 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 You're, if you don't mind me saying, you're rigor rich. I really hope you were here for The Last Comedian. Really hoping you didn't just walk in and your I name happened to get pulled. I don't care either way. <laughs> and that was the last time we saw Joel Berg. Um, wow, so you're rocking the sunglasses. Life is perfect. You're a fucking millionaire. You're living the life. You have a good body, a good look. Everything's good. You go out and you get hit by a fucking car. How does this happen? <laughs> and lives. And How lives. the fuck L- does literally it Literally, no, no broken bones, no internal bleeding. What kind of car was, was it? A Jetta. I can take a Jetta. <laughs> you, you got hit by a Jetta? It's a Jetta. Yeah. Oh, my God. Fuck Volkswagen. The Jetta's total. Yeah. Total. Yeah. Never to be seen before. What happened? It was, a, it was an 80-year-old lady. Oh, my God. Yeah. Miss and Daisy? Yeah. And I was walking. <laughs> <laughs> and you were driving her car. <laughs> driving her. <laughs> I was walking behind her. Uh, she drove by. I was walking behind her. And I guess she thought she saw a parking spot. And then realized She thought you were a parking spot? No. That is not right. And black top. <laughs> Look at that black <laughs> mass. That must be a parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Are you going to sue the fuck out of that old lady? Yeah. No. Get her money, no, man. Get no, more money. No. What, are, what, are, what, are, what are the hundreds of millions that you already have? <laughs> fuck this old bitch's <laughs> life up. No, it was, uh, yeah, she's fine. Everyone's fine. I got up, I walked away. Was, I, got, I had to go to the hospital. but. Wow. Yeah. Can we see your eye? Will you show yeah. us? No, it's just stitches along the brown line. Oh, uh, so, yeah. yeah. Now you're fine. Yeah. Fine. Looks like a fucking expensive doctor but did those stitches. Yeah. Yeah. But I get, I get migraines when I look in the bright lights now. Oh, it must oh, be that's sad. Oh, yeah, that's that's awful. awful. Fuck at her. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure everybody gets migraines if you look directly <laughs> into the bright lights, King. <laughs> wow. So where were you walking that she hit you, though? Where You weren't on a sidewalk. You were in the street. Maybe you were a little bit uh, to blame. Where were you wearing? Black T-shirt, black pants? Mm. Huh? I was, uh, I was uh, at the Burbank <laughs> Farmer's Market. At and the uh, Burbank <laughs> Farmer's Market? God, Shout out. you really are rich. 
I don't know, it was this, uh, just in the park. That's the whitest thing I've yeah. heard since Kevin Alexander said anything. <laughs> I was at the Burbank Farmer's Market, you That's know, uh, doing some scuba diving yeah. prep. Also a certified scuba diver. Are oh, you really? Yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, scuba battles. <laughs> scuba battles. That's scuba. what's up. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> scuba, go. <laughs> wow. Like, much like Kevin Alexander, are there other white people things that you do other than scuba diving? That, uh, yeah, be rich, Tony. <laughs> You've been listening to this guy? He's Pay fucking my taxes? Rich. I don't know. Just <laughs> wow. All right. Well, mm. King, you were on the show a couple weeks ago. Yeah. We found out a bunch of fun stuff about you. Anything happened other than getting hit by a car? What did you say? Yo, yo, go ahead. What was that? So I did a show at the Belly Room uh -huh. on Saturday, and when I walked out, there was ambulances everywhere. Sounds like... Yeah. Uh, it just fucking uh -oh. happened again. I mean, I Brian <laughs> Redban on. Uh <laughs> when I got to my car, there uh, there was a guy being uh, strapped down into a gurney and put in an ambulance. And I was like, oh, no, I hope he's all right. And then I realized he was a drunk driver who ran his car into <coughs> my car, my parked uh, car. Yeah. What? Just happened on Saturday. Saturday yeah. night here. Yeah. When did you get hit by that other car? Saturday before. What are you doing this Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> Staying home. Yeah, <laughs> you probably <laughs> should. Get off the fucking streets, yeah, man. Yeah. I've never had to tell somebody worth $100 million <laughs> to get off the streets before, but... Uh, I'm sorry I crossed you three <laughs> weeks ago. <laughs> 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 what kind of car do you drive? A uh, Fisker. What? A what? A Fisker? I can't even what's pronounce what's that. What's a Fisker? A Fisker. It was... There were, uh, oh, my God. Teslas. I know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So uh, that person didn't have insurance, I'm taking No, no, they did. Really? Yeah. Did they have enough like insurance? Like North Hollywood <laughs> insurance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Everything's, everything's fine. Everything's always fine. Yeah, yeah we yeah, know. When you're rich. We get that yeah. part. Always no fine. shit. But you're yeah. not giving us the juice, <laughs> man. We want to hear about the people well, no, just like, like the fucking just struggle. Me. Yeah, no. I mean, it happened Saturday, so today's Monday, so insurance is taking care of it all day today. <laughs> Damn right yeah. they are. You got that uh, is it good total? insurance. Yeah, total. You have uh, the uh, total. Know, a new one? His, King no. is so rich that his insurance lady is the actual progressive lady. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> Flo. Uh, yeah, it's Flo. Flo. Yeah. <laughs> he has two insurance ladies, Hustle and Flo. <laughs> that was, that was, good. that was. Good. What should we do? Golden Pony. Anything else? What uh, else is going on, King? How's uh, your love life? What's going on there? Love life is good. I got a, a pajama show. You got a what? Uh, I host a pajama party. A pajama party? Yeah. Wow. Well, you should yeah. have these guys. They're the cat's pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you yeah. mean you host a pajama party? At Flappers. Uh, once a month, it's a uh, floppers. It's a floppers. <laughs> <in Burbank>. <laughs> floppers. <laughs> yeah. no, floppers is for the heavier comedians. Ah. It's, uh, it's down the street. <laughs> um, Belly yeah. floppers. So what, what <laughs> goes on at a pajama party at Floppers? I'm just in a six foot three onesie telling jokes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you buy a six foot three onesie? Sold. Do a lot of people show up in their pajamas? Yeah, sold out every. Yeah. Uh, about sell it out. Seventy-five percent of the of the audience comes in pajamas, Man. and then twenty-five percent are too cool. So whatever. That's fucking interesting. I'm surprised at how successful a pajama <laughs> show is. I've never really thought about making the audience dress up for anything. Mm. Just the band? October 29th, we're having a Death Squad Halloween uh, show where all the comics are going to be dressed up. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Here in the main room. <coughs> well, King, um, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Stop getting hit by shit, man. Yeah, I'm going to try He that. already had the best of luck, Tony. He's <laughs> rich. <What> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The best of luck. How often do you work out, King? Every morning. Every morning. Do you have a Bowflex? Every morning. How long? <laughs> how long? Do you, how I feel long like you own six Bowflexes. <laughs> you just stare in the mirror, just <laughs> pumping, fucking, just have pumping you, that Bowflex. No, he has an Equinox. <laughs> <laughs> have you always worked out every morning, or is that something you did after you started getting rich? No, uh, I remember I, I told you last time I used to no. be super <laughs> fat, and uh, oh. my grandma died of diabetes, and then I started lifting weights. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Do you really have a Bowflex? No. No? You have no. like a little like gym? I go to the gym. You go to the gym. Yeah, Is go. the movie Black Panther based off of you? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. That joke, you'll listen to this podcast in three months or four months from now, and you'll be like, that was great. Because <laughs> he's a cat. <laughs>
King, you're a very, very compelling story. I love it when you come on here. Thanks. You're different than all the other people. You have hundreds of millions of dollars, and you, Can still, I have, and you still chase your dreams, and uh, clearly you're working hard at it. There he goes, King Hassan. He's on Twitter at LikeAidLove. Kevin Alexander, love Lila Hart. Bunny made a funny, Wubsy Daisy, The Real Brock, Jerdy Comedy. Look at this amazing drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt. And it was another amazing drawing I saw today, last week's, with Tom Segura and Ralphie May was a great one. This is another one. Make sure you check it out on the front patio. He's going to be showing it off right after this show. We're all going to get drinks out there and hang out for a bit. Um, remember, next week is Ron White. He's going to make it. He's going to be in town this weekend, so he's already going to be here. No chance, even if his plane breaks again next weekend, he'll already be here. Uh, how about making some noise for Jason Weeman, Aguna, and Joel Joelberg Jimenez. A lot of fun stuff going on with these guys. Joel's on Twitter and social media, mostly sorry. Anything else, Joel? Yeah, I watched Nathan for you. I worked in the art department. All right. Nathan well. for you on Comedy Central. He's in the art department. Motherfucking Weeman. One of my favorite humans. Anything you, you want to plug or anything like that? Uh, I got uh, Ryan t-shirts now. He's modeling. That guy's modeling them right there. Oh, I love that. So, what are yeah. those available at? Uh, just hit me up on Instagram or whatever right now. Just so, fucking hit him up on anything. Hit me up on anything. You heard it. You heard the man. Instagram, I am Wee Man. I fucking love Woo. that. Jeremiah Watkins, the great and power. Make some fucking noise for Jeremiah Watkins. People are out of goddamn control tonight. I know, I make you clap a lot. You have to pay your damn dues. Follow me on social media, at Jeremiah Stand Up, and I'll be in New York City November 7th through 15th, and La Jolla, California, headlining with The Wave from Comedy Central November 30th. There you go, the great Patty Reagan. Dirty, dirty little outdoor cat. Look at his little fucking dirty smeared whiskers. Mm. Listen. Listen to the music of Bill Evans. I'll tell you whose music to listen to. Tall motherfucking Wilkenfeld, everybody. She's at the St. Rock in Hermosa, November 5th. Coach House, November 8th. Velvet Jones, November 10th in Santa Barbara. November 11th, Mill Valley. November 13th, she's in Sacramento, California. November 15th, Solana Beach. And November 30th, I'm positive if it's not already sold out that it's going to sell out. So get your tickets right now. For the Troubadour, Hollywood, California, Tal Welkenfeld. Yeah. Headlines her own West Coast, California Chris. 2017 tour. Chris Dillon on the drums. Yeah, that's oh. Chroma Chris on Twitter and Instagram. C H R O M A C H R I S. Just like that, right? Uh, yeah, sounds about right. Okay. Yeah. All right, go Dodgers. Uh, Australia, Melbourne, Sydney, Adelaide, and Brisbane, and La Jolla. My own weekend there in the first weekend of November, and I'm in uh, at the end of November, all of Australia. Brian Red Band. Uh, I'm taking Death Squad on the road. We're having a little mini tour. Indianapolis, November 8th. Columbus, Ohio, November 9th, and just went on sale, Pittsburgh, November 10th. I fucking love it. Lots of shows going out to all you listeners around the world. We absolutely love you, appreciate you. Rate, review, subscribe, tell your fucking friends, have viewing parties, tweet about it. Have fun. Put your hands together for Josh Martin, comic, producer over here, amazing comedian, Ryan J.E. Belt. Thank you, live audience. We'll see you soon. Have a good night. Thank you so much. <laughs>